people, I want to walk with you through it. Because when you come through it, they're going to know you ain't been burnt. When you come through it, they're going to know that I've been with you. When they see you in there, they're going to see you, me, standing right there beside of you. Some of you are saying, where's he at? I'm telling you where he's at. He's right there in the fire with you. But they were unmovable. They were unshakable because they knew the word of God. And there were two more, Peter and John, who faced persecution and the threats of the Jewish high priest and his council. These two were faced for ministering and teaching in the temple. Then one day as they entered, then a miracle was performed. And the lame man was healed. Then Peter and John continued to teach God's word and preach salvation through Jesus Christ as the only way to heaven. How many know there's only one way into eternal life and that is through Jesus Christ. There is no other name given among men whereby we must be saved. You ain't going through anybody else. Like the preacher, you ain't gonna, preacher said last night, you ain't going to ride nobody else's coattails in there and you ain't going to use no other name but Jesus Christ to get in this morning. But they said in Acts 4, 19 and 20, whether it be right in the sight of God, to hearken unto you more than unto God, judge ye, for we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. They were steadfast and they were unmovable in the preaching of the gospel. They counted their freedom as nothing compared to obeying the Lord. They found, counted their lives as nothing in comparison as to the life that was to come. They continued to preach even unto death. Let me tell you, most people would have given up on far less. Most people would have said, well, the government told us not to do it, so we better not do it. <laughs> How many know? Some would say, well, don't the Bible says to obey the laws of the land? Yeah, it does, but let me tell you what it also says. That when, God, when it comes in contradiction to the law of God, the law of God overrides the laws of man. If it's wrong in the law eyes of God, man's got laws on this land that are legal, but it don't make it right. They say abortion's legal, but God calls it murder. They say same-sex marriage is legal, but God calls it an abomination, don't it? You see, just because it's the law of the land don't make it right. Yeah, when it comes in contradiction to this word and this law, let the law of God, let the words of God be true, and every man a liar. See, they weren't willing. We said they told them you ain't gonna preach in that name. Yeah, we can't help but to speak that name. They don't want to hear that name today, do they? It'll come a day they'll try to outlaw that name because it's in the defense. That's where we bet a big old sign up here. It says Jesus. I'm talking the biggest sign you can find. Jesus. Jesus. We put a big cross up like they ain't never seen before. I'm telling you. What about Paul? He said in Acts 20 and 24, But none of these things move me. Neither I count my life dear unto myself, so that I may finish my course with joy in ministry, which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify of the gospel of the grace of God. And at the end of his life, when he had faced the fiery trials and the tests of his long and profitable service to the Lord, right here is his final testimony in 2 Timothy 4, 6 and 8. I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not, on, not to me only, but unto them also that love his appearing. Oh, what a day. I tell you, I pray our test walk with God would be like Paul's walk with God. Amen. Unmovable. Steadfast. In his word, we got to get anchored in the very words 
of God this morning. People have thrown out the Bible. I believe the reward we receive in that day will be worth it all. Don't you this morning? I believe what, everything we go through down here, what we receive on the other side is far greater than we can ever imagine. What a day it will be. What a day it could be. But people... Today, they want Jesus, but they don't want the Word. Amen? Some say I believe in God. And I love it when they tell me they're spiritual. That means you can be a Satanist and be spiritual. You can be a Muslim and be spiritual. That opens the door for anything. Most of the time, they're just saying they're worshiping for themselves. They're doing it their way. <laughs> How many know God ain't into their way? It's into his way. <laughs> That's a, they say, we do it my way. Well, that throws God right out the equation right there when they do it their way. It ain't your way, it's God's way. They're throwing the book, his words, right out. They ain't anchored. People want to throw his Bible, his word out. You want to know why? Let me tell you what's going on. I'll tell you why violence has filled this land today. I know it's a sign of the time, but I'll tell you where it begins. When you kick the word of God out, you're going to invite lawlessness in. You, they don't want the Bible, but they want the Koran. The Koran ain't nothing more than inspired by the devil. It's devil inspired, devil written. They want that in. They think that's a book. And you want to know why violence is filling the land. They don't want to hear the name of Jesus. But the name of Jesus is the only name that they need to hear. You don't want to know why people are wicked. You want me to tell you why? People don't love each other because they don't love Jesus. If you can't fully love God, you can't love nobody else. I don't care their skin, what their skin color is. If you fully love God, let me tell you, you'll love those of different skin colors too. Amen? You don't look at the skin, you look at the heart. It's the reason all this violence is filling the earth. Let me tell you, there's some good godly people of all colors. There's some people of all. And there's some of all colors and all nationalities that's full of the devil. The reason this country's in the shape is because it's forgot the word of God. And it's kicked out the name of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you, for God so loved the world. We got movements going on, says just certain people's lives matter. How many know in the eyes of God all lives matter? All souls matter. He didn't die just for one breed. He didn't die for one color, one nationality. He died for whosoever will. Black, white, red, polka dotted, speckled, it don't matter what color they are. If, they want, if they'll come to him, he's going to save them. Amen? It's a Jesus thing. But I'm telling you, the devil's playing. He knows you, the what nation has kicked God out. It's unmovable. It's movable because it ain't steadfast on the word of God. What would happen if this nation would get back to the word of God? You ever thought about it? What would happen if the saints of God, those that are claimed to be proclaimed to be called by his name, would get back to this word and get anchored? You know, the gates of hell may come, but they surely wouldn't prevail, would they? People's not anchored. They're not God-centered no more. They're not Christ-centered no more. I'm telling you, we got to be unmovable. We got to be steadfast. Time's running out. It ain't a time to get slack. It's a time to get on fire. It's not a time to quit. It's the time to get going. It ain't a time to stop the race. It's a time to stay on the course. Anybody know what I'm talking about this morning? It ain't a time to, to just, just sit back and just say, well, we got plenty of time because you don't have plenty of time. I'm going to tell you, nobody in here got plenty of time. Did you hear me? 
One of two things is going to happen. Neither one of you know what's going to happen. The trumpet's going to blow. And we're going to be caught up to be with him. Called the catching away or the rapture. The word, some say the rapture ain't in the Bible. Yes, it is in the Greek. The word caught away means raptos. In the Greek means rapture. That or one's heart can start beating in just a moment's time. One's heart can just start beating and you be in eternity. It don't matter how old you are. It don't matter if you're in perfect health right now. The fact is, every minute that passes, have you ever thought about this? We're a minute closer. Every day that passes on, we're that much closer. How many know it just seems like January this year started? It's hard to believe I'm going on my second year up here. It really is. I'm on year number two here. It's hard to believe that. It just seems like I just started here last week or something. But now we're already a year, almost a year and a month into it. Into this tenure, starting the second year. And time's flying. 2016 is just halfway over. It's over halfway. Five months left. We're in the seventh month. We're on the downward spiral of this year. One of these years, one of these days, everything's going to change for every one of us. I've got to hurry. We're going to find ourselves in glory. One of these days, everybody's going to be going about their normal routine, and all of a sudden, a trumpet's going to blow. It's just going to be a normal day, and all of a sudden, in just a split twinkling of an eye, everything's going to change. Just that quick, how things quick and change. Let me tell you, the only thing, we got to be steadfast and unmovable until he comes again. We got to occupy till he comes again. You see, we got to understand, we've got to get back anchored and centered and steadfast, unmovable in the word of God. Hebrews 3, 13 and 14, but exhort one another daily while it, is, while it called today, least any of you be hardened through deceitfulness of sin. For we are made partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end. Well, what we need to do, I want to exhort you this morning to take hold of the word of God as your source guide. Hold on to Jesus. Don't allow tests and trials of this life to draw you off course. Don't allow the deceitfulness of sin to make you doubt God's power to deliver you and bring you through victorious. Don't get slack. Hang on. Everyone standing in here this morning. Hang on to the word of God this morning. How many would say, preacher, I want to hang on this morning. I want to get unmovable in the word of God. Let me get anchored like I've never been anchored before. I want to invite you up here. It starts in the altar of God this morning. How many would say, here am I, Lord. Let me be unmovable. Let me be unshakable. Let me grab a hold of to the word of God. Let me grab a hold of him to this morning. Lord, and we lift you up, dear God, as there are others that say, Here am I, Lord. Here am I, Lord. Here am I, Lord. In Jesus' name.